We told you earlier about the latest dengue test results from the Public Health Department. Tonight, we check in with the team that is tasked with eradicating the deadly dengue-carrying mosquito known as the Aedes aegypti. And that's a mosquito research and control unit that we're talking about, the MRCU. Tonight, we're joined by its director, Jim McNally, to talk about their plans to make sure this mosquito doesn't come onto our shores. Good evening. Thank you for being here with us on Cayman 27 News. Thank you for the invitation. Okay, so you have started your residential inspections program. Tell us a little bit about that program and how has it been rolling out so far? It's a very intensive program. It really runs almost through the year. However, we got a new tool from CARFA, that's the Caribbean Public Health Association, uh, a tablet which allows us to read barcodes, and this will allow us to identify homes moving forward as part of our database as part of our eradication efforts. Do we have any concerns that the Aedes aegypti can actually make a serious home here in the Cayman Islands? Aedes aegypti has made a home. It so is here? It is here, yes. Not dengue carrying yet, though? No. Uh, so our, concern with, yeah. our concern with disease, with dengue, chikungunya, zika, is that a traveler to another country, Jamaica or Cuba, will be infected with the disease, come back to the Cayman Islands, and be bitten by one of our Aedes aegypti. At that point, that mosquito is infected, becomes infective, and can bite somebody else and spread the disease. And that becomes a serious concern. Now, in terms of the program, can you tell us which areas you've been able to cover so far? Gosh, we've been uh, spending a lot of time in West Bay. That's where um, most of our, our residential homes are. Um, so we work through West Bay and into Georgetown, and we work our way east. So. As you mentioned, Westby, I can't help but remember the other program that we had ruled out there with the uh, genetic mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. I know that that program has come to an end. We are awaiting results. Do you see that program being resurrected? Or will I don't it be see it now? being resurrected in the near future, certainly not in 2019, but we're still collaborate, or excuse, talking about collaborating with Oxitec in the, in the future. So nothing would occur with them before 2020. Are there any penalties while you're making your rounds and you see that people are leaving standing water, not doing as they should to make sure that mosquitoes are not breeding? Mm -hmm. There are penalties. We have a mosquito law. We have a strong mosquito law here in the Cayman Islands. So there are not fines. However, we could conceivably, according to law, seek reimbursement for expenses associated with any work we might do on someone's property. Have you ever had to enforce that before? No, I've only been here a year. Uh, no, we have not done that. And I don't know that that has been done in the past. Can you tell us any of the other steps you're taking to fight the Aedes aegypti mosquito? Absolutely. In the One of the things that we looked at last year was aerial larviciding, wide area larviciding with our planes. That proved to be very successful. So we can suppress, we know we can suppress our Aedes aegypti populations from the plane with a larvicide. That would be part of an integrated approach toward controlling this mosquito, ultimately eradicating it from the island. You know, a lot of people here may not be familiar with how destructive this one mosquito can be. As you said, it, carries, it can carry three diseases, dengue, chikungunya, Zika. Correct. Um, you know, I, I come from the Eastern Caribbean. I have family members who have gotten dengue and have gotten chikungunya. It is a very serious thing, this mosquito. Tens of millions of people contract the, the disease, dengue uh, specifically, and uh, there are nearly uh, 22,000 deaths that occur every year from dengue, mostly in, mostly in children. So it's a serious disease. And therefore the MRCU needs to keep up its efforts to make sure that we don't have those kinds of uh, numbers happening in the Cayman Islands. Absolutely, and continue to work with public health and remain vigilant toward the disease, yes. Dr. McNally, thank you for being here with us on Cayman 27 News. We certainly appreciate your insight. My pleasure. Thank you.